the, the journey probably could have been smoother. Some of the worst bunch of amateurs that I've ever had to deal with in my entire life. The experience did get a bit hairy along the way, you know, arm head hairy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Everything completely. I didn't really like him all that much. You're over it, you're a tosser, a wanker. Didn't get along that well, the director. He kept oh. touching my fucking screen, didn't he? I can't believe the guy who even calls himself a director. Actors are like that though, they tend to think that they're they're the only ones that matters. He did not know what was going on from the get-go. The entire thing he just the director's one of the more pivotal roles in, in creating a film. You know, actor not so much, anyone can do that really, let's face it. What was what was the other film he's known for or something? Tour of Monte Carlo, <laughs> which as you know I made that. Don't even, don't get me started on the director. Still a couple of pay disputes. My pay got cut a bit. I did get a job at Dick's warehouse, cheap warehouse. Oh, and like a pretty tight budget. I had to earn that bit of, bit of extra cash. Because they offered me more money. I didn't do this for the money. I didn't do this for commercial success. But I mean, that's, that'll, that'll sort itself out, really. But well, at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's finished, you know? And that's something that you know, we've, we've all achieved, we've all done that. We all came together, we rose above the challenge. We did something special, we did something special. I think we did all right. Yeah, we all did a bloody great job. Maybe a sequel? I don't know. We'll definitely all be working together again, we've all said that. I'm just I'm just glad that I don't have to see him ever again. <laughs>